Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, May the 19th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. It's a free room. I share my screen all day long. And I'm live on the mic between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And if you would like to take out a link, or excuse me, a subscription to Trade Ideas, you can use this link. And the promo code is HOLLY, H-O-L-L-Y, all in capital letters. Holly 18, the number 18. So that's Holly 18. And I usually open the room at about quarter to nine. That's when I start sharing my screen. And then I'm live from nine to four. All right. Well, I am still in this one, GPRE. And this is sort of an, for me, it's an interesting one. And it should be interesting for anybody who has our AI, who's taken the premium service and as the AI channel and all, because I don't know how many times I told people uh, today to keep watching this one if it uh, turned profitable. And, you know, this is the most important column that we have in Trade Ideas as far as I'm concerned. This is the non-exit profit column. And look at GPRE. So, Holly, you know, took the trade fairly early at 9.45. Now, as most of you are aware, the market is uh, down today. Uh, it's, it's rallying a little bit right now, but the market is down today. So, you know, we had a couple of early trades, uh, MU and GPRE, uh, which really, you know, tough to take because of the market being down. So, Holly got stopped out and for a 31 cent loss. There was a stop hit, there was a stop uh, at 1564, so it took the loss. But as I've told people, the most important column you can watch is this non-exit profit column, because what this is showing you is okay if you didn't obey and i'm not saying not to obey if you were in this trade if you actually took this trade of course you have to obey this stop okay it doesn't mean though you should stop watching it because for all the reason that this strategy was uh was selected for today uh it may be that perhaps it was just a little bit early getting into it and you know and typically if you know how i trade i typically do not take a lot of the early holly uh, trades um there was one there's one uh, strategy i do like mighty mouse which is uh, under five dollar stocks which I, I a lot of times I will take those trades but a lot of times for the most part I let a lot of the trades just um, finish close out and then I start watching this column so this is what I said in the room 1595 if it gets back to there this this is going to be zero this is going to zero out because basically this is showing you in relation to the original entry uh, entry alert where are we? Well, we're 35 cents above 1595 now. But when this turns zero is where I really started getting interested in it. But I also wanted to wait for it to go th get through 16. If you look at, uh, see, here it is right now. And I, so I'm in this trade. I'll just show you where I'm in it. I actually put a, an alert right at 1607. Um, if you look at a daily chart, You're going to see really why I like this because here's the void, beautiful void. So not only was it a nice alert on Holly, uh, but when I looked at it, I thought, you know what, if, if the market can recover somewhat and perhaps this is an energy sector stock and maybe the energy sector can recover a bit, if this starts going, I love this void. So that is another reason why I decided that I really wanted to watch it. So I put the alert at uh, 1606 and I got into the trade at 1609. Back to my 15 minute time frame. So here we are, and I have taken some out at uh, 1621 and at 1636, holding on. Uh, no reason to get out of it yet. Certainly, I will not let it get down below 1609. Uh, but again, this is why you have to watch this non exit profit column all day long. Now, you don't, if you don't want to watch it, I actually enjoy watching it to be honest. But if you don't want to watch it, then all you have to do is set the alert on the chart at uh, say 1595 and then, and then you know you get the alert and you'll be notified immediately uh, in your price alert column in your price alert window now I am told that we're going to have a feature pretty soon in which you'll be able to right click and you see where it says send to now I know you can send it right to the chart window now but I have a feeling that we're going to be able to send it to a price alert window immediately and that'll be able to track Holly during the day so uh, be no excuse to miss any any alert. Uh, you just basically just set it and forget it and uh, move on. So I will continue. Of course, I'll continue to watch this on another monitor. 
But meanwhile, let's take a look at some of the other trades that uh, I did get into. Uh, EW turned out to be a great trade for me. EW was one in which, um, let's see now, a couple of days ago it was in real play. Take a look at the daily chart on it. Yeah, a couple of days ago, you know, it had the big drop. And so yesterday, I, I, I had this on a thumbnail on my one of my monitors. I had it from yesterday. Uh, I was trying to see if this could ever break down through 100 uh, with any, you know, any oomph. Because look at this void. This is sort of the reverse now. You know, uh, the same, basically the same, excuse me, the same idea is for stocks that are falling. You're looking for, an, if you see a nice void like that, I mean, what, what's, what's there to stop it until 90? Uh, so I was looking at this one uh, all day yesterday and it really didn't do anything it really just traded in a very very narrow range under under 100 but I still had it thumbnailed so this morning I saw this action and I saw it at 99 I thought you know what maybe now is the time that it's going to give it up and it sure did I actually I as it broke down through 99 I got into the trade right about here at 98 91 but it was actually 98 90 and look at this candle look at this action um, I traded it out uh, 98 26 97 63 all the way down all the way down here you know so well over a over a dollar uh, on that, 90, 97, 73, uh, 63 was about a dollar twenty-seven from my uh, entry, my short entry, and then out the rest at ninety-eight fifty-seven. So, it turned out to be just a great early trade for me. Now, the other one that worked out really well too was Monroe, and Monroe I should show you AAP. AA, AAP Advanced Auto Parts had earnings yesterday after the market closed, or I'm sorry released before the market opened this morning so look at this I mean this closed at uh, 143 and it got all the way down to 126 dollars in the pre in the pre-market at an amazing recovery now I did not participate in this unfortunately I uh, couldn't find it I uh, couldn't really quite find an entry but you know this a lot of people did though I know some people who uh, you know just took took the bull by the horns and probably got in around here and, and made a great trade of it however Monroe same industry same sector Monroe auto parts and all same thing we watch it in the pre-market and again you know I open the mark I open my uh, share my screen at quarter to nine I open the trading room at, at about quarter to nine share my screen and this is what we talk about we talk about the ones that uh, you know potentially what I like to do is I like to look at the ones that have uh, potential bounce reversal plays and uh, you know stocks that are obviously not going into business they've had bad earnings and all but you know there's a good chance that they could reverse so Monroe, the same industry, of course, as uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So I did. I actually took this trade twice. I got into the trade at uh, 60, right over 60. I waited for it to get over 60. Uh, I took the trade at uh, 60.29 and got out at 60.59 and 60.41, just as it was doing all this. So no great shakes there, but I kept watching it, and I re-entered the trade right here. And this is this is this is where it. Uh, you know, I made the money on it, 60, 70, right about, well, close enough. Actually got in the trade at uh, 60, 70. Look at this candle. Look at this candle. These are quick trades. I mean, these are really quick. They were 15-minute candles. So, I mean, within 30 minutes, uh, and it was a lot quicker than that. Um, I got out some at 6101 as it broke over the... Um, was it 6101? 6110 as it broke over 61. And then the balance at 6217. Um, that was almost, well, that's uh, from 6070 to 6217. So just a really, really excellent trade. It was right in, yeah, it was right, right around here where I got out. And then, you know, now it's done really nothing since then. So um, two early trades for me, EW and Monroe. And then, of course, the late one now in uh, GPRE. A uh, couple others. Uh, Walmart, WNT, I, that was a flat trade. Veev, V-E-E-V. Um, made a little bit on that. That was a short trade, and uh, accidentally took a trade on. Um, I remember uh, EX. I think it was uh, EX Express, EXPR. Accidentally took a trade there. Lot lost. Uh, lost a little bit on that one. Accidentally, in that I was, you know, there's a sort of a 
Uh, an idiosyncrasy in my uh, trading platform. I and I had uh, I had something open on it. I had the sort of the buy uh, had the buy open on it, and I clicked on a, I clicked on a symbol in trade ideas, and it activated the buy in, <laughs> in my trading platform. I know it happens. Uh, I should have I should have been just a little more aware that it was uh, that I had the trade open. Anyway, that's okay. Only took a nickel loss on it, so uh, no no big deal. But anyway, so the bottom line is GPRE. I mean, it's you know, it's I have no reason to get out of it yet, and I have no idea where it's going to go from here. But on a day in which you know, tough to go long on a lot of things, uh, this is what you have to have to keep watching all day long. All right, uh, NC was another one. Now it it it's giving it all back now. In fact, maybe it's a time to go long on it. Take a look at it. And it's not loading. Why isn't it loading? It's just taking its time. Sometimes when I'm doing the uh, sometimes when I'm uh, doing this uh, video and I have a lot of other things open, it just takes its time. Interesting. No, well, there you go. Anyway, here was the short and. You know, it got stopped out for a twenty-six uh, for a dollar one. I uh, can't drive it. Drag it over just a second, okay? It got stopped out for a dollar one on a time stop, all right? But it kept moving down. Here's where it stopped out, but look how far down it moved from there, even. Now it's come back, all right? But that's why I'm saying just because you get uh, there's a time stop. I think at one point this was. You know, dollar seventy, so maybe another seventy cents from the actual uh, time stop price. So again, this is why it's so important to keep watching this. And you know, a lot of times uh, people can get frustrated with with our AI channel because not so much today, but a lot of times we can have a lot of alerts. You know, we can have thirty five, forty alerts, and people say, "Well, how do I manage them? How do I know which ones to get into or or uh, or leave alone?" And one of the ways you can do it is, if you want, you can wait for them all to close. The law close. You know, at, at some point, most of these are about 60 minute time uh, t time holds. So they'll all close and then this, this window will start to fill up. I would sort it on the non-exit profit and then I would start watching it. And as these things start turning back to zero, you know, you might have got stopped out. But as they tar start turning back to zero, start watching them like a hawk and then maybe that's when you get into the trade. So uh, look at GPR. I mean, it's still hanging tough. Anyway. I will continue. I will say it every single day. That's the column to watch until uh, finally, you know, if you've got the channel and you're not doing it, then, you know, you're really doing, as I said in the room, you're doing yourself a disservice for not having that non-exit profit column up. All right. Well, that's it for today. And again, share my room all day long. Share my screen, I should say, all, all day long. The room is free. Uh, open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. On, live on the mic. I open the room at about quarter to nine. And if you want to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, it is Holly, H-O-L-L-Y, all in capital letters, 18, the number 18. Holly 18, give you a great discount off our annual, our monthly, and our premium channel. Well, see you in the training room tomorrow. Bye-bye.